Hey y'all, welcome to Lumber Joeville. Women's wrestling lives here. Now before we get started, I just want to remind you to please hit subscribe to become an official resident of LJV and get a first look at all future women's wrestling figure reviews and special women's wrestling figure related content like today's very exciting video. So today's video is opening up voting for the Jillies Award Show. I've done it the last three years and the way this works is today's video I'm going to show every single WWE Women's Elite that I received in 2023. What you're going to do is in the comments below, make sure to place your vote for which WWE Women's Elite you think is the best, which one's your favorite, whichever one you vote for. Now, I'm going to also post on Instagram at some point and have a, use a couple different platforms and combine all the votes. And that's how I determine the winners for Elite of the Year, Basic of the Year, AW Women's Figure of the Year. And of course, the figure that gets the most votes overall will be crowned the Lumber Jillville Figure of the Year. Now, the Jillies Award Show is going to be either at the end of January or beginning of February, so stay tuned. But I am going to have a separate video than today's that covers all the women's basics released in 2023 and all the AEW women's figures in 2023. So today is a big one. As you can see beside me, it's all the WWE women's elites that I received in 2023, so they're all eligible to be voted on for today's video. So once again, before we get started and show all the women's elites and talk about what the attires from make sure by the end of the video in the comment section you place your vote elite series 100 becky lynch this attire is from extreme rules 2021 which took place on september 26th in columbus ohio on this night the match between smackdown women's champ becky lynch and bianca belair would end in a no contest elite 101 sonia deville this attire is from the December 10th, 2021 edition of SmackDown from Los Angeles, California. On this night, Sonya was supposed to take on Naomi, but the match never officially started. Her ringside cronies Natalya and Shayna Baszler got involved, but a debuting Xia Li would appear and help Naomi fight off Sonya, Natalya, and Shayna. Elite 102, Rhea Ripley. This attire is from Hell in a Cell 2022 Premium Live Event which took place on June 5th in Rosemont, Illinois. On this night, Rhea and the rest of Judgment Day would come out victorious in a six-person mixed tag team match versus the team of Liv Morgan, Finn Balor, and AJ Styles. Elite 103, Liv Morgan. This attire is from the Money in the Bank 2022 Premium Live Event, which took place on July 2nd in Las Vegas, Nevada. On this night, Liv Morgan would win the Money in the Bank ladder match in the show opener. Later on in the same night, she would cash in her Money in the Bank contract to defeat an exhausted Ronda Rousey to become the new SmackDown Women's Champion. Elite 104, Dakota Kai. This attire is from the October 3rd, 2022 episode of Raw from St. Paul, Minnesota. On this night, Dakota Kai would defeat Candice LeRae in a singles match. Elite 105, Io Sky. This attire is from the December 12th, 2022 edition of Raw from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. On this night, WWE Women's Tag Team Champ Io Sky, accompanied by Damage Control, would go on to defeat Candice LeRae in a singles match. Elite 106, Roxanne Perez. This attire is from the December 13th, 2022 edition of NXT. On this night, Roxanne would defeat Mandy Rose in the main event to become the new NXT Women's Champion. Ruthless Aggression Elite Series 5, Tori Wilson. This attire is from the October 9th, 2006 episode of Monday Night Raw. On this night, Tori Wilson would lose to Melina in a WWE Women's Title Tournament first round Lumberjill match. Then Now Forever 2023 Target Exclusive Elite 4 Pack Becky Lynch. This attire is from Hell in a Cell 2022 Premium Live Event which took place on June 5th, 2022 from Rosemont, Illinois. On this night, Bianca Belair would retain the Raw Women's Championship by defeating Becky Lynch and Asuka in a triple threat match. Survivor Series 2023 Elite Series Charlotte Flair. This attire is from the 2021 Survivor Series Premium Live Event that took place on November 21st from the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. On this night, Raw Women's Champion Becky Lynch would defeat SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte Flair in a Champion vs. Champion match. Royal Rumble 2023 Elite Series Beth Phoenix. This attire is from the 2022 Royal Rumble Premium Live Event which took place on January 29th, 2022 from St. Louis, Missouri. On this night, the team of Beth Phoenix and Edge would defeat Miz and Maurice in a mixed tag team match. 
Top Picks 2023 Elite Series Ronda Rousey. This attire is from WrestleMania 35, which took place on April 7, 2019 in East Rutherford, New Jersey. On this historic first women's WrestleMania main event, Becky Lynch would defeat SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte Flair and Raw Women's Champion Ronda in a winner-takes-all triple threat match, leaving with both titles. Becky Two Belts was born. WrestleMania 2023 Elite Series Trish Stratus this attire is from WrestleMania 27, which took place on April 3rd, 2011 from Atlanta, Georgia. On this night, the team of Trish Stratus, John Morrison, and Snooki would defeat the team of Dolph Ziggler and Lay Cool in a six-person tag team match. Ultimate Edition Series 19, Bianca Belair. This attire is from the Hell in a Cell 2022 Premium Live event, which took place on June 5th, 2022 from Rosemont, Illinois. On this night, Bianca Belair would come out victorious in a triple threat match against Asuka and Becky Lynch, retaining her Raw Women's Championship. So there we have them, every single WWE Women's Elite that I received in 2023 that is eligible to be voted on. So once again, make sure to place your votes in the comments below. Now I am going to say if you're having trouble deciding between a couple, I'd go back and watch my reviews. I've done an in-depth review of every single one of these figures, so maybe that'll help you decide which one to vote for. But yeah, I'm real excited. I'm not sure how the votes are going to go this year, but you, the fans, the residents of Lumber Jillville are voting and are going to determine the Elite of the Year, the Women's Basic of the Year, the AEW Women's Figure of the Year, and then the Lumber Jovo Figure of the Year, whichever figure receives the most votes across all the platforms. So I'm real excited. Now, with that being said, I appreciate you watching today, and thanks for stopping by Lumber Jillville. Women's Wrestling lives here. For a first look at all future women's wrestling figure reviews, make sure to hit subscribe and become an official resident of LJV today. Also, head on over to ringsidecollectibles.com and use coupon code LJV at checkout to save 10% on your next order of women's wrestling figures. Now, stay tuned. I will be doing a basics and an AEW women's figure video coming out very, very soon where you will also vote in the comments of that. So thanks for watching. I can't wait to uh, see your votes and have a great night, y'all.